Where is Timothy? Right here. Timothy Tainani. How do you feel? I feel much better now that I slept. <laughs> yeah, I, I took two naps yesterday. I, I was starting to get like my tree. Okay. Wow. All right. Uh, All right. Do you have a homework for us, Tim? You have a homework for you. Where okay. is it? Here it is. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Quiz one of the dialectical analysis of the perfection of wisdom. All right. We we started off with Arya Sangha's biography, and we learned that. Lord Buddha predicted Arya Sangha's appearance in this world some 900 years beforehand. So one of the first thing we learned about was there were two negative circumstances about the state of Buddhism that Arya Sangha observed and compelled him to teach. What were those two things? What was going on with Buddhism at the time of Arya Sangha? <laughs> Venerable Sinem says the accountants were attacking. Uh, that, that's perfect. So could you say a little bit more about that, Sunan? <laughs> what do you mean by that? I'm probably going to go to some hell realm where people who called the Vibhashika accountants, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like lots of emptiness teachings, but not hard teachings? Something <laughs> Not exactly. So what was going on with the Mahayana at the time? Oh, they were denied as uh, not, not taught by Buddha. Right. So, so what happened because some people claimed it wasn't being taught by Buddha, by Lord Buddha? It was quiet. It wasn't being taught much. Uh, it was how about degenerated. Thank you, Venerable Apala. Cool. So the second, so what was going on in even within the Hinayana schools? They were arguing and they split up, splintered into many subgroups. Right. And so what happened to those teachings? They degenerated. Yay. Well, not yay, but... No. <laughs> 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 but they were degenerating as well. All right, good job. Okay, so this one is a fun, I think is a fun question. All right, so the prediction of Arya Sangha's appearance can be found in the root tantra of Arya Manjushri spoken by Lord Buddha. This particular line highlighted at the beginning of this question has some special significance and I highlighted some words to give you some clues. Nice question. <laughs> so what is the special significance of this line? And how could we relate it to the degeneration of the Mahayana in the first question? Wow. Yeah. This question. Figurative and literal. Correct. And uh, so so if we relate it to the what I so, mean so so, so the, each before, of the others thought the other schools were being figurative and the ones that they liked were literal. So it seems um, I, like everyone was running around saying there's the ones they liked was, was literal and the other ones weren't. Uh, close. Um, Roxana has most of the answer in the chat. Roxana, do you want to turn oh. on your, um, it's the, the first part, the special significance. What do you mean by he will divide the scriptures into figurative and literal? Who's he? Arya Sangha. Correct. So it was predicted that Arya Sangha will do it. But what's the special significance that the Buddha mentioned that there will be someone who will divide things into figurative and literal? Things meaning his own teachings. That divisions will be created. Among the Sangha? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Yeah, he hasn't thought that, like, the third turning of the wheel, and he's speaking about it. 
before, something like that. Right. It, it, basically, the Buddha was saying, yo, guys, someone is going to have to interpret what I said. <laughs> Someone's yeah. going to have to come and say, well, some of the things I said were literal and some of the things I said were uh, figurative and someone's going to have to figure that out. Mm-hmm. And basically said that Arya Sangha would be doing that. Um, and then, Upala, what you said was correct for the second part of the question. Okay. That there were... Um, that there was a degeneration because first of all, they said Lord Buddha didn't speak to Mahayana. And then secondly, no one had really interpreted it yet. Interpreted what the Buddha had said, whether he meant it was literal or figurative. All right, let's go. By the way, I I think it's also kind of an announcement by Lord Buddha that I will be dumbing down some stuff in the future and just be aware of that. And if, you know, you're going to have to think carefully uh, about whether what I said was true or I was dumbing it down from some of the audience. Okay, cool. cool. Thank you. All right. All right. So then after we did that, we jumped into the text. Um, and we had just received a, um, th- we were just introduced to the idea of innovators and um, marketers, which we'll talk about in a second. So someone comes along and provides some unsolicited feedback to Kachik. And they su- and that person suggests that there's no more or no less than four innovators within Buddhism. Mm-hmm. And who are those four suggested innovators? Whoa. Nagarjuna? Yay, that's the first one, Arya Nagarjuna. Who is the second suggested innovator? Dharmakirti. Sangha. Excuse me? They I said Kirti Sangha and Dharmakirti. Uh, um, Alex, no, you're wrong on both counts. <laughs> <laughs> they said Maitreya. <laughs> right, the second one was Lord Maitreya. Who's the third one? Asadik oh. Naga and Danstra Sena. Svetlana got it in the chat as well. So we have Master Dignaga. How do we know this is Master Dignaga in the picture? He's debating. He's debating. A halo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's about to hit his student on the head. Halo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then, yeah, Word and Svetlana got it. Uh, Master Sustaina. And we, I couldn't find a picture of him, but yeah. this is a, what does his name mean? Elephant Tusk Warrior. Elephant Tusk Warrior. So I found a picture of some armies nice on elephants. Nice picture. Nice homework, by the way. All right, cool. All right, here we go. Some STWs. Oh, I hope I don't catch. I don't help. I hope I don't catch it. So, so th- these two words showed up in our homework. Wow. Mm-hmm. They're kind of pronounced the same. Exactly. The same. Exactly the same. <laughs> so, what do they mean, and what's the difference? On the left, it means a a certain number fixed at a certain number. Correct. So we translate as no more, no less, meaning a specific number. And what does the one on the right mean? Sage's new text. Compound noun, which means two things, um, figurative and literal. Changdun and Hidden. Correct. And then how do we interpret, how do we, excuse me, how do we, how do we more eloquently say that and say ACI 15? Um, I mean, art of interpretation or something like that? Correct, yeah. yes. It depends on the context. Correct, right. Yes, it, it's not always that, but that's what, that's what we're meaning here. All right. And then w- there's two more words that we need to know to move on in the text, just to review them. Ooh, nice. What does the one on the left mean? or a wagon builder a wagon builder that's i'd I'd like that so how about what word have we been using for that for a wagon builder innovator innovator Innovator. okay right (laughs) um other ideas like a founder of a new system i like driver of a chariot of the chariot um what about the one on the right shinta sul sin marketer 
a marketer. Now, I, I don't want to be despective here. Like a marketer, we're not saying marketers are less than, okay, right? Um, mm-hmm. But um, w- w- how else could we describe that? Someone who carries a tradition, maybe? Right, yeah, like the holder of a tradition, the carrier of the tradition. Um, I like the idea of a, someone who's, who's like kind of holding on to like a mechanic, making sure it stays together and stays together. <laughs> um, someone who keep the wheel running? Yeah, it, it keeps it going. Keeps All the right, wheels cool. turning, yeah. Keeps the wheels turning. All right, cool. Good job, guys. Uh, very nice homework. Really nice homework. Thank you for <laughs> spending that. No, I know you're really, really busy person. And thank you for spending the time. Somehow he, he does everything. Maybe he doesn't sleep or something. I don't know. Yeah, uh, right. All right, here we go. So um, where we are in the text is we just got the four... Uh, potential innovators yep. from the, from some unsolicited feedback. Um, and then we start off the debate about how we determine like what actually is an innovator. And what's interesting, what comes up is that we don't start with um, Arya Nagarjuna. The next line in the text starts with Maitreya, which I find interesting um, that we kind of skip one and go to number two. So yeah. Um, Anyhow, Gesha, this is what I put together. Oh, and what right. we, Did and you what put we, a copy up there in the in the drive? Uh, no, not yet. Busted. Busted. It's Could on. Could you screen. send that to me? <laughs> ask, is it? Um, after we do this. Oh, okay. all right. Um, let's see here. So basically, the this section starts giving us a definition of what is an innovator in these two sections. So Geshe, this is what I tried. And could you check it out? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, whenever you see tell, like in the third line in the middle, yep. uh, it's a sarcastic statement. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, well then, Ona means well then. Mm-hmm. Are you saying that uh, the holy Maitreya, our protector, ba 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 ba, and then uh, that's supposed to be a sarcastic question. Okay, are are you saying that he did not follow another innovator? Are you saying that he uh, his sphere of activity was this world, uh, mm-hmm. planet Earth? And are you saying that he uh, commented on the meaning of the sutras independently, okay, without without help from other people? So there's three elements of the uh, definition here. Are you saying that he didn't follow other innovators? Are you saying that he was, that his sphere of activity was this planet, okay? Uh, And are you saying he commented on the scriptures in an independent way? Uh, And then the other guy says, in an independent way. And then the other guy says to tell, he says what? He said, he said, well, then he is an innovator. He no, said, he yes. goes, chee, 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 you know. Well, no, I didn't say that. Okay. Yeah. Well, why you say that? Why you say that? Mm-hmm. Why, why do you say that I believe that my Maitreya fits these three requirements? Why do you think that I say that my Maitreya fits these three okay. requirements? Right. Mm-hmm. Because he's an innovator, according to you. <laughs> okay. And okay. by the I, way, I, the... His response in the in the mixed nuts translation system, we put it in parentheses. Uh, we supply his response okay. uh, in italics. Sorry, in italics. So after the word independent way, he will say, "Why do you say that?" You know. Uh, uh, yeah, because according to you, he's an innovator. All right. Okay. Uh, all, right, right. all right cool all right thank you all right yeah nice okay all right well uh, then 
Let's push this one down. Now, there. when you have a tell, when you have a tell that goes mm -hmm. down, yep. uh, are you saying he fits these three requirements of a innovator? And Yimbata, uh, are you saying that? He can either say, yes, I agree, or he can say, chi why, why do you say that to me? So we finished the chi chi answer already. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, you know, he said, well, why, why do you say that? Mm -hmm. And why do you say he's got to have those three qualities? So you said he was an innovator. And then he says, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I disagree. Okay, Yin Bao Tao, are you saying he fits these three requirements? No, he doesn't. Uh, so, so, so the, the I'm sorry, the Dumi Nu is, uh, he's not, uh, sorry, Dumi Nu, Yin Bao Tao, you cannot agree to our statement. You cannot agree back at the tell. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so agreeing back at the tell means, yes, he does fit these three requirements. I agree. Okay. Uh, so really in the italics, it would be, you know what? Uh, I agree to your original statement. That's how we usually translate it. I agree. I agree to your original statement. And this is understood. And, and, and this is what the Kachik's saying, right? Yeah. When he says the, and then the next line out of italics, uh, skip a line. Uh, we say, <laughs> if you do agree, if you do agree, uh, uh, or I'm sorry, but you cannot agree. Right. Say, right. Mm -hmm. But you cannot agree, comma, uh, because uh, well, this is a long sentence. Uh, <laughs> this. Uh, you cannot agree because Lord Maitreya uh, composed uh, scriptures uh, such as uh, the top uh, again, the the uh, ornament, what do you call it? ornament of realization or jewel of realization, the jewel of realizations, yeah, such as the jewel of realizations. Uh, comma, in which he uh, set forth uh, the stages of realization, comma, uh, which are the hidden subject matter uh, of the sutras, semicolon. Uh, and he did so uh, in in Tushita heaven, Tushita, right. in, in the heaven of joy or something, comma, uh, without uh, without no. following, without following any, anyone else, any other innovator. Uh, any any other yeah so Tim if there's three requirements so far for an innovator which one have we just blown up uh, the one about the that has to be in this world versus into yeah sheet. yeah the sphere of his activity has to be this in this, this world. planet Earth okay yeah right. so he doesn't qualify as a innovator. Yeah, according to our definition of an innovator. Okay. And by the way, I, I just wanted to give you guys a pep talk about innovator. Uh, traditionally, there's only been two in two and a half thousand years. Uh, only in two and a half thousand years, there's only been two people who were smart enough to present the teachings in a, in a, in a radically new way. Uh, but still completely following Lord Buddha, okay? And they presented the teachings in a radical new way, but still completely followed what Lord Buddha meant. So uh, 
it's a kind of a comment to us about how much can you modify the teachings when you teach them to people. You know, it, you can go either, it, it's a dangerous game and it's a high, high profit game, <laughs> okay? It can help millions of people if you do it right and it can ruin the teachings if you do it wrong. And uh, so it's a, it's a very delicate topic and it's, it's significant that Kedup Demba Dage chose it as the first topic of thousands of pages of commentary, okay? When can we take liberties with the teaching to make it relevant to modern people? And what things can we not take liberties with without ruining the Dharma? You see, it's a very, very important question, okay? Because all of us who are teachers, it's a very important question, right? Okay. Uh, and do you know if like uh, other traditions accept other innovators, like is that unique to our lineage or is that kind of accepted throughout the Tibetan traditions? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, we don't spend a lot of time on it. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't actually know. Uh, but <clears throat> uh, I can say that normally when we have a debate in the scripture, either somebody was believed it, some historical figure believed it, or our author is making up an, an opponent that would be useful, <laughs> okay? So, and I don't know which one it is, Nick, okay, uh, in this yeah. case. So we got four innovators proposed and we just uh, blew up one of them, okay? Uh, okay, uh, yeah, good. All right. Uh, what is this thing here? Why do I have this here? I don't know. <laughs> uh, let me see here. See here. Uh, uh, may have just been to figure out who Donstra Stema was. Donstra Strena, something like that. Uh, You've got a list of 11 in there. Yeah, I think it's coming up next. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Shariputra. Okay, so are you saying that uh, Maitreya uh, was operating uh, Zamling deer, okay, in this world. And then we say, Duminute, you cannot agree to that because he did his work in the Tushita heaven, okay? Cool. So actually, he's only blown up one of the four. Am I right? Yeah, the, the, the first, well, yeah, the second in the list because it was first Nagarjuna. Yeah. Which I'm guessing he's going to, you know, based on our our point of view is that Nagarjuna is one of the innovators. Oh, okay. By the way, uh, we did, this is why I have this here. Uh, when he describes Master Dunstra Sena, he says he's the guy who clarified the meaning uh, of the mother. What's that? The perfection of wisdom. Perfection yeah, of wisdom. the perfection of wisdom or you can say the wife, the holy wife, uh, through the three doors and through the 11 synonyms, okay? He used the three doors and the 11 synonyms to present the perfection of wisdom, okay? Who's that? Kache Chewe De, Danstra Sena. And Kache means uh, from Kashmir, okay? What does it mean nowadays? Proponent? Um, uh, in modern it, Tibetan, it, it Muslim. means a Muslim. A Muslim. In, in modern Tibetan, it means a Muslim. In scripture Tibetan, it means fr someone from Kashmir, uh, North India. So uh, I say that Danstra Sena, this uh, great uh, Indian pundit from Kashmir, I say 
that he was an innovator. Why? He innovated the idea of the three doors and the 11 synonyms, okay? Or the 11 uh, terms, okay? And being a mixed nut, Tim. We figure out, we, we have to decide, we have to figure out what those are. Yeah, we don't make our readers suffer through the rest of their life wondering what were the three doors and the 11 terms, okay? We go find them. And uh, that's just our policy. And if you keep doing that for 10 or 20 years, you learn a lot, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so here we go. Uh, I went and found this commentary. Three, eight, uh, Nick, can you see who wrote 3807? I think it's Dunstra's. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this is Dunstra's Senos commentary to the 100,000 verses, all right? He wrote a commentary to the 100,000 verses, which would be 5,000 English pages, okay? If we decide to translate it. And I got the 11 terms for you, okay? Tim and, uh, and the three doors. So this is your footnote material. You ready? Uh, who's gonna help you read this? I don't see anybody. Hassel, you up for it? Okay, please read, Tim. Yes. All right. Sherab ki paro tu chinpa di shepani. Yeah, if you want to sound really sweet to a Tibetan, okay, lightly gikuize the she in shirub, shirub, slightly, shirub. Sh almost shirub, shirub, and it's it sounds better to a Tibetan, and they don't know why. Okay, shiruki uh, to chimba. What's this mean? Perfection. Wisdom. The action of wisdom was taught by the conqueror. Yeah. The conqueror using Gosum. The three doors. The three doors. Yeah. yeah. Good. And he, hopefully he's going to tell us what they are. Okay, please. Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, <coughs> okay, good. Please go ahead, Tim. Um, good morning, Peg Kowatang. Nampar chune kobatang trangupe dobatang doba nampa sumle sam samte. Yeah, I don't know. I can't say go mupe. Go mupe. If it's spelled right, it means uh, the understanding that comes when we start out, okay, when we start the description. Okay, the understanding that comes, the understanding that starts, that comes when we start our description. Okay, this goal means uh, the head or the beginning. Usually it's spelled auga. Number uh, goa. then the understanding we get when we get some detail. Okay. And Changupe uh, Duwatang. Uh, the disciples. Uh, the disciples that we hope to uh, lead, Changa Bedua, and and uh, another topic called the three kinds of disciples. Okay, so uh, starting from those elements, uh, the understanding you get at the beginning the understanding you get when we have some more detail, uh, the kind of student that we hope to teach, and the different kinds of students, uh, we can say then that there are three doors, okay? And here's the three doors. Ta -ta. Go ahead. Uh, door tempe. Who's Chucky? It was Hustle. Right? Yeah. Door tempe Kotang. Tringdu tenpe gotang, gay part tenpe gote. 
Yeah, good. Okay. So there are three doors through which the Buddha gave his presentation. Door Demba, he gave summaries. He gave summary presentations. Then secondly, he gave middle length presentations. So each of these is called a go, a, a door. The mm -hmm. door of short explanations, the door of medium explanations, and the door of gepa explanations. Extensive. Yeah, extensive explanations. Those are the three doors. Okay, so if anybody asks you what are Dunstrasena's three doors, it's mm -hmm. that the Buddha gave short explanations, medium explanations, and long explanations using Namdang Chuchik. The 11 uh, synonyms. The 11, and sometimes uh, Namdang means a different presentation, okay? Alternate presentations, okay? Uh, sometimes Namdang means synonyms, and sometimes Namdang means uh, <coughs> uh, different presentations. For example, in the Heart Sutra, the Buddha goes into a meditation called Chuki Namdang Nitingen Zen. Uh, which means uh, a meditation on the different presentations of the Dharma. Okay, so here he says, when the Buddha, uh, w the Buddha used three doors of teaching, meaning short teachings, medium teachings, long teachings, and he used 11 presentations or 11 versions of the Dharma. Okay, and here's Dunstra Sena's original presentation of the 11. Ta da! Here they are. Please read number one. Ha uh, Hasso, you're still, you're still there. Okay. Dangpo Sharipu la Tasate Shepa Shepa Chikdang. Yeah. Uh, so first, there's the version of the Dharma that he explained to Shariputra. Okay. What Katsel, you guys? And spoken by the Buddha. Yeah, high, high honorific, high, high right. honor, which he bespoke. Uh, we don't have honorific. Uh oh, but in English speaking countries. Okay. Uh, all right. So, first, there's the so he gave one version of the Dharma to Shariputra. Then, what, Tim? He gave how many presentations to Subhuti? Five. Yeah, which brings us up to six, okay? <laughs> which, which brings us up to six versions of the Dharma, okay? Then, please read the next one. Uh, yeah, and then he gave uh, two presentations of the Dharma to Chakra. Uh, sure. which means uh, it's a worldly deity like Brahma or Vishnu. And uh, what's his name mean, you guys? Did it destroy a hundred towns or something? Yeah, yeah. And I used to call him hundred gifts because mm -hmm. I misunderstood the word jinn. And uh, it doesn't mean gift here. It means uh, to destroy. Uh, and uh, he's, he's, he's a powerful worldly deity, deity called destroyer of a hundred cities. I guess he destroyed a hundred cities in one day or something because he was irritated. Uh, so uh, uh, Buddha gave him two different teachings, okay? Uh, two different uh, presentations of the Dharma. You can call these 11 presentations, Tim. Okay. okay, and then there's what? Two presentations to Maitreya. Good. Uh, there's two presentations he gave to Maitreya. And then finally... Chantu, who's correcting? Uh, still Hustle. All right. Chantu Sem Sempa Chupakdang. Talk to... Uh, how do you pronounce that? Nui? Nui. Nui. <laughs> it's like Gui, but Nui. <laughs> Nui tam lane, neten kungao da katsate, 
Yong Su De Tepa Chek Dang Didak Ni Nam Chang Chu Chiko. Good. Uh, so the 11th presentation of the 11 famous presentations of the Dharma uh, was given to the elder monk Nathan Kungawo. Ananda. Uh, Ananda. Uh, Based on some conversations, Tom Ling, okay, that took place between the Bodhisattva Chipak, okay, and Dr. Mu. So Dr. Mu is the hero of the 8,000 verses on the perfection of wisdom. He's called, his name means ever, ever weeping. Yeah, Sada Prarudita. He's always crying. Why is he crying? Because he can't sell his flesh. Yeah, good. He went to the market to sell his, his body so he could make buy flowers for his teacher. And the demons blocked him. Okay? So he's called Mr. Crybaby, super cry, all the time crying. And his teacher's name was Chupak, okay? Uh, so after he does meet his teacher and his spiritual partner, by the way, uh, he, those conversations are the basis of a teaching granted to Ananda. Okay. Katselte, uh, Yongsutepa Chik. Yongsutepa means uh, delivered especially for somebody. Okay. Targeted. Yongsutepa. Uh, okay. So. There's that one teaching that was targeted for Ananda based on the conversations of Mr. Crybaby with his teacher, okay? Uh, and that's the Namdang Chuchik, Tim. And these are the 11 presentations. Or... Nice, these are the 11 famous presentations. Uh, and uh, I'm not even gonna cover that one, okay. So there's the three doors and the 11 presentations, okay? And uh, why we're mentioning them, Tim? Was, I'm sorry, did you, was that a question? Why? I, yeah, why are we mentioning the three doors and the 11 oh, presentations? Because in the, when we learned about Dasha Sama, it just mentions the three doors and the 11 presentations, and we need to know what they are for a footnote. Yeah. The Kachik, the other guy who's attempting to decide how many real innovators there were in the history of Buddhism, mm -hmm. he wants to include Dunstrasena. Why? Because he commented on the perfection of wisdom. How? He explained the three doors and the 11 presentations. Uh, he, he organized the presentation. He didn't give those presentations, right? He, he just organized it into those presentations. Uh, and that's enough to call him a, an innovator, according to the innovator, according to the other guy. Now, uh, our side doesn't bother to talk about that. It, our side just disproves uh, Maitreya. Uh, Maitreya cannot be an innovator because innovators have to act in in this world this world good and, and it, it makes sense right if you're gonna if you're gonna craft a completely new way of presenting these ancient teachings it should be in response to a situation in your world right uh, it should be for us a, a certain audience uh called your world okay all right all right here's the second debate uh, by the way, you're on the second debate of about 2000. Okay, so it sounds like it smells like you just created a nice uh, life tool, Geshe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm hot on creating life tools. Yeah. Okay. By the way, if you don't start creating life tools, you're not listening. Okay. All right. Here we go. Please read and who do we got? Baratsan, are you translating? Okay, can you turn on your mic and and criticize Tim? It's fun. It's fun. I do it all the time. 
Berta is translating. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's pick somebody else. Eh, 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 eh. Seiji, pick on this guy. Come on. How's he? Are you testing negative yet? Or are you hanging out in that? <laughs> no, as it turns out, I found out that you can test positive until a month, but not be contagious. So this is something I didn't know. Uh, I, did, I think you're just watching a lot of Netflix. Okay, here we go. Uh, go ahead, Tim. Go ahead, Seiji. All right. Ka chek nore. Gen som poi jetsun jetsun jam nun de shing de ro a sol che tang. Sunge. Son je son heavy heavy pinezon son son san yeah what she tumba mean you kramer and nick and you guys she um it, it means in, in accord to be one is yeah, to be two. Two. Yeah, it's one thing which is two other things. Okay, one thing uh, which combines two other things. What are the two things, Tim? He's he's referring to Maitreya, and he says he's a combination of two things. What are they? Uh, he's a combination of an innovator and yeah. and uh, and Arya uh, Arya Buddha. Yeah, I like to translate Sangye Pakpa as an Arya who is enlightened. Sorry, right. a, a realized being who is also enlightened. I think it's much, much clearer. Right. A realized okay. being who is also enlightened. Okay, realized because he or she. Tonglam, uh, Samtinus directly. Samtinus directly, and then enlightened because he, sees, he or she sees all existing things. Okay, so this guy claims that Maitreya is both a Buddha and an, and an innovator, okay? So here's our sarcastic reply. Oh, na. Seme kebu yinna shinta shinte. How do you do that? Sonje. Sonje, yeah, Sonje. Sonje yin gunpartal. Gunpartal. Sarcastic. Kudki dam. Kudki dam. Kudki. Kudki dam. Kudki dam. Which one is it? Kudki, right? Kudki. <laughs> well, by the way, because it's a D, you have to cut it short. Kudki. Kudki. Damcha tewa tewa chair. Yeah, this should be tape chair. These really obvious ones I'm gonna fix. Okay. Uh, oh, daring. That's kind of messy. I shouldn't do that, right? Chungwa. Uh, so, well then, if somebody is a hundred dollars for a semikibu, what happened to those twenty dollars? Person who can't make a mistake. A person who doesn't lie. Okay. I think it was uh, Dr. Kramer started the was, one who has become correct. Yeah, uh, and basically means a person who cannot lie. And we learned it somewhere in the ACI courses. ACI four. Yeah, a person of complete semar, a person of complete pramana, a person who cannot lie. Okay. Uh, so what's it say, Tim? If somebody is a semikipu. Are you saying they have to be a Shingde Suljay? Yeah. Are you saying they have to be an innovator? Yeah. If someone is a person who cannot lie, are you saying they have to be an innovator? And then the guy says, Chee chair. Why do you ask me this question? Why do you accuse me of that? Well, Kyuki Gamcha Tepichir, because your position is correct. What was his position? Uh, Maitre is a combination of. Both being a realized being who is also enlightened and a uh, innovator. Yeah, good. Okay, so I guess uh, everybody who's enlightened is an innovator, right? And the guy says, "Well, why do you say that?" 
Okay, well, Kasi, what you just said. <laughs> then he says, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I agree that if a person is a person who cannot lie, they are always an innovator. Okay. Then we say, oh, Dana. Go ahead, Tim. Dana. Dunpa Shakya Tupa Tupa Churchen. I don't know what, the, I mean, I know the words, but is that up or down in this case? Is this a uh, down, right? Because he's being sarcastic. Sarcastic. Uh, yeah, Dad Tao. Yeah, good, good, Nick. You're right. Uh, by the way, this is a misspelling. Okay. Uh, <laughs> by the way, this was the first text ever input, I think, uh, in 35 years. This was the most important thing I could think to input. So, uh, so that there were mistakes because they didn't know how to type yet. Uh, uh, if you agree, what's that mean, Tim? Let's take the real, um, let's take the, the Buddha, the realized one. Yeah, let's take Shakyamuni, our Buddha. Now, how are you telling me he's a are you telling me he's an innovator? Yeah, because he is a semikibu. Because he is, is a semikibu, yeah. Yeah, he is a person who cannot lie. Are you saying he's an innovator? Okay. That's like calling uh, Henry Ford the guy who improved the car. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah. Assuming you believe the American <laughs> story that he invented the car. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> every country has their own version uh, uh, a quick question Geshla. so in translating that line there's yeah. not all the word obviously not everything is there I mean you have to know you have to refer back to the previous lines so when we're translating we're going to put them all in there okay <laughs> Mm -hmm. and you can also check out emptiness meditations it has a ton of debates in it and okay. you can see what we do and adam's first book which is going to be available very soon I uh, to quote my all debate. Okay, I, uh, and then usually because this is a conversation, we inset it. Okay, so this is the format that you're going to follow forever, Tim. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, so, 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 basically, so basically, when it says because it just says their tal, right? So we need to add in all to that. We have to add in all that other stuff as well. So it, I, it's easy to read here. I think it's. Uh, more responsible as a translator yeah right. okay right. otherwise people are going to have a lot of trouble understanding it okay right because they, they, uh, they, they you're asking them to do the work yeah yeah and and i i strongly feel that we should do the work uh for the reader uh okay so there it is uh well thank you okay and then you can use that pattern forever for 20 30 years okay uh we got time right uh Four minutes. Yay. Please to read. And who wants to check you? Alex, sorry, did you do anything? I forgot. No, I want to. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Duna, you can you read, Tim? Duna, Tunpa Shakya Tupa Tupa De Tunpa Shakya Tupe Tenpe. Shing Shing Te Sun Che Yin Yin Patal. Yimba Yimba down or up? Make your choice, man. I did. I went down. Good. Okay. I like it. I like it. Yimba Tal. Are you saying? Yeah. Are you saying that uh, they Shing Te Sun Che Yim Yin Bei Che? Yin Bei Che. Yin Bei Che. Yin Bei Che. Okay. Uh, if you agree. Uh, what was the agree? Uh, if you agree that he was an innovator, okay, 
if you agree that Buddha was an innovator, uh, then are you saying that Shakya Tupa was a Shingde Sulje for Shakya Tupa's teachings? <laughs> Are, are you saying that he was an innovator? Well, are you saying that Shakya Muni Buddha was an innovator for his own teachings? Yeah. Are you saying that Lord Buddha finally figured out a fresh way of presenting Lord Buddha's teaching? <laughs> that's Actually, he I did mean. many times. Yeah, right? yeah, I was going to say. First uh, turning, second uh, turning, uh, third <laughs> turning. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you get the point. Uh, because he's an innovator, he's got a, he's an, you say he's an innovator. Uh, and now here's the punchline. Uh, please, Alex, you're still checking. Uh, the minute de de tenpe dak dakpo yinpe chur yinpe chur. What's it mean, you guys? 20 bucks, I guess. Uh. You can't agree Into to that, that because he was the first one who taught those. He's the big dude, the, the Mahat. boss of the teaching. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll let I'll give it to the Amelie College Fund. Okay. 20 bucks. Duminite, yeah, you cannot say that he found a fresh way to uh, present somebody else's teachings because he was the guy who started those teachings. All right, cool. All right. so, so that's kind of a definition though, right? Because uh, he... Yeah, it's kind of the definition of a non shinte soldier <laughs> or one of the problems. Okay, so we got two problems so far. Uh, if you're not doing your shtick on this planet, you don't get to be an innovator on this planet. And mm. if you started the teachings on this planet, you don't get to be called the person who improved on them or or who found a fresh way of presenting them. Okay. Got it? Yes, so sir. we have to revise our um, list of elements of an innovator because it doesn't include improving on someone else's thought. Uh, when you say... Uh, uh, Chicken deer, don't run one to Jawards. That's the key word, okay? Uh Jawards. Uh -huh. An innovator should be Jawa. Uh, they should be commenting on some yeah. of yeah. yeah, okay, great. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh yeah. we're, we're at time, time Geshala. Yay. I get to take a nap or plant my wife's plants. I wonder which one I'm going to do. Don't diamond deal yourself. We don't. You're going to help your wife. Yeah, I know. It's the Baji Yogini thing. I got to do it. Uh, 519. Okay, 519. Okay, cool, you guys. Thank I'll you, Gesha. See, see you this evening. Thank you. Can Mom. I make a quick announcement, everybody? Uh, shall I hang on for a sec, too, please, if you can. Uh, we had a request to move some things around on the schedule, and uh, it would mean that at 5.30 today, it will mean that at 5.30 today, uh, we'll have Stanley's Q&A rather than um, Gibson's class. And then uh, those Q&As are going to be at 5.30 p.m. next week as well. So just keep an eye on the schedule, everybody. And then Gibson will go tomorrow. Um, okay. Okay. So that business. You have that businessman meeting. Yeah. Uh, today. Well, Nick, uh, you got it written wrong in the schedule. Uh, uh, let me check. Says, uh, yeah, says, I noticed that too. Guess I'll fix it. Yeah, it should say five thirty to six twenty-five for Stanley. Oh yeah, yeah. I just started changing it actually. So okay. Me, good. Get there and finish changing it. Uh, okay, I'm on it, Nick, and I will go to the correct link. Yeah, uh, let's see. Yeah, I see I have the times in there wrong. Uh, cool, okay, that's the main thing. Oh, also there's yoga now with Mr. Alex Rivas, the great innovator. Yay. And uh, <laughs> and then at four, there'll be yoga with Andriana. So either way, you're gonna get a great class or come to both. Yay. Thank okay. you so much, Keshela. Thanks, everybody.
you guys. Thank you. Thank you, translators. Thank you, Pachi and Francisco. Thank you. Nice job, Allison. Yay. See you guys later. Have a great break.